Water covers over 70% of Earth's surface, and beneath the waves lie mysteries and marvels waiting to be explored. But what have we found so far, and what might still be hiding? Today, we'll dive into the most mysterious things found underwater. Underwater cities have long captivated our imagination, sparking curiosity, excitement, and a sense of mystery. The concept has often been associated with mythical places like Atlantis, but as technology advances and underwater archaeology flourishes, real submerged cities have emerged from the depths, challenging our understanding of human history. One of the most intriguing underwater cities is the ancient city of Heracleion, also known as Thonis, off Egypt's coast. Once a vibrant trading port, it sank around 1,200 years ago. Discovered in 2000 by French archaeologist Frank Godio, Heracleion revealed temples, statues, and artifacts, providing an unprecedented glimpse into ancient Egyptian civilization. The reasons for its sinking remain debated, with theories ranging from earthquakes to soil liquefaction. In Japan, near Yonaguni Island, an enigmatic underwater structure has stirred controversy. Some believe the Yonaguni monument to be the remnants of a long-lost city, with its sharply defined steps and terraces. Others argue that it's a natural geological formation. Divers and researchers continue to explore the site, seeking to unravel its secrets. The underwater city of Dwarka in India is another captivating find. Linked to the epic Mahabharata, it's said to be the legendary city of Lord Krishna. Archaeological discoveries of sunken structures dating back thousands of years add credence to the mythological accounts, connecting ancient texts with tangible evidence. China's Chandao Lake hides an extraordinary sunken city known as Xicheng, or Lion City. Submerged in 1959 during the creation of a reservoir, the city remains remarkably preserved. Its intricate wooden structures and carvings represent a time capsule of Chinese history, offering a view into architectural practices dating back centuries. Sunken ships have fascinated historians, archaeologists and adventurers alike for centuries. These vessels, once symbols of human ingenuity, exploration and commerce, now rest in the depths, silent witnesses to different epochs and forgotten battles. Among the most well-known sunken ships is the RMS Titanic, a symbol of human ambition and tragedy. When it struck an iceberg on its maiden voyage in 1912, it became an enduring legend. Explorations of the wreckage have uncovered everything from fine china to personal belongings, each piece telling a poignant story of the lives lost and the era's social norms. The Swedish warship Vasa is another notable example. Sunk in 1628 on its maiden voyage, it was an engineering failure that embarrassed the Swedish monarchy. In 1961, the ship was remarkably well preserved when recovered from Stockholm's harbour. Today, it's housed in a museum, offering an intimate view of 17th century naval warfare and shipbuilding. Sunken pirate ships also stir our imagination with treasures and tales of high sea adventures. The Wider Galley, a pirate ship that sank in 1717 off the coast of Cape Cod, has yielded a trove of artifacts, from cannons to gold coins. Its discovery brought to life colorful characters like Black Sam Bellamy and illuminated the golden age of piracy. The exploration of warships from world wars offers unique historical insights. For example, the wreck of the German battleship Bismarck, which sank in 1941 after a relentless pursuit by the British Royal Navy, is a somber reminder of naval warfare's complexity and destruction. Its discovery in 1989 added crucial details to wartime narratives. Sunken ships also reveal information about ancient trade routes and societies. The Uluburun shipwreck, dating back to the 14th century BCE, found off the coast of Turkey, contained a rich cargo of precious metals, ivory, and artifacts from as far as Afghanistan. It provides an astonishing view of the far-reaching connections in the ancient world. The Bimini Road, also known as the Bimini Wall, is a fascinating underwater formation located near North Bimini Island in the Bahamas. This enigmatic site consists of a series of rectangular and sub-rectangular limestone blocks forming what appears to be a road or wall beneath the clear Caribbean waters. Discovered in 1968 by underwater explorer Joseph Manson Valentine and his team, the Bimini Road quickly captured the public's imagination. 
Many saw in it echoes of the ancient, mythical city of Atlantis, and the formation's alignment and geometric patterns led some to propose that it was a man-made structure, possibly a road, temple, or dock. However, geological studies have since suggested that the formation is likely a natural occurrence. The blocks are composed of beach rock, a natural limestone composite that often fractures in straight lines. These studies propose that the Bimini Roads formation resulted from the fracturing and subsidence of this beach rock over thousands of years, but not everyone is convinced by this explanation. Some researchers and explorers point to what they see as two perfect alignments and unusual features such as seemingly cut and fitted stones as evidence of human intervention. The site's proximity to other Caribbean archaeological sites adds fuel to this perspective. The debate over the Bimini Road's origin has made it a favorite destination for divers, scholars, and Atlantis enthusiasts. Its mysterious nature continues to inspire books, documentaries, and theories, each exploring different aspects of its potential significance. In addition to its possible historical or mythical connections, the Bimini Road and its surrounding waters are home to diverse marine life. The blocks and crevices form a natural reef environment that supports a rich ecosystem of fish, corals and other marine organisms. Underwater crop circles are mysterious patterns found on the ocean floor that have intrigued scientists, divers and enthusiasts for years. These intricate formations, primarily discovered in the coastal waters of Japan, are remarkable for their geometric precision and complexity. The discovery of underwater crop circles began in the 1990s when divers first encountered these strange symmetrical designs in the shallow seabeds. The circles, often measuring up to seven feet in diameter, are composed of intricately ridged sand patterns and are often surrounded by carefully arranged shells and debris. Theories and speculations about their origin abounded. Some initially thought these patterns were created by natural phenomena like currents or even underwater earthquakes. Others speculated about extraterrestrial involvement or unknown underwater creatures crafting these fascinating designs. However, the true architects of these underwater marvels were eventually discovered to be small, unassuming pufferfish. Males of a particular species of pufferfish were observed crafting these intricate patterns on the ocean floor as part of a mating ritual. The male pufferfish uses its fins to carefully carve the design, spending several days creating and perfecting the circle. The more symmetrical and elaborate the pattern, the more attractive it is to potential mates. Researchers found that the central, nest-like portion of the pattern serves as a mating site, while the outer ridges and patterns play a role in both attracting females and providing a buffer against ocean currents. The shells and debris incorporated into the designs are thought to provide nourishment to the eggs and newly hatched offspring. The Baltic Sea Anomaly is a mysterious underwater object discovered in June 2011 by the Oceanex diving team while exploring the depths of the northern Baltic Sea. This enigmatic finding located on the seafloor about 300 feet below the surface has captured imaginations and spurred debates worldwide. The object is a 200 foot wide roughly circular formation, with an appearance resembling a flat, unusually shaped rock or even a crashed UFO as some have described it. The anomaly sits at the end of what appears to be a nearly 1,000 foot long runway or skid path, further adding to the intrigue. Upon discovery, the anomaly's unique and unexplainable shape led to wild speculation. Was it a geological formation, a sunken city? an ancient temple, or perhaps even evidence of extraterrestrial visitors. The speculation was fueled by initial sonar images, which revealed a seemingly artificial angular structure, unlike typical natural formations found underwater. Some researchers have proposed that the Baltic Sea anomaly could be a natural geological formation such as a glacial deposit shaped by the Ice Age's retreating glaciers. Others have suggested it could be the remnants of an ancient construction or perhaps even a sunken World War II-era anti-submarine device. Despite various expeditions to the site, conclusive evidence about the anomaly's nature remains elusive. Divers and scientists who have explored the site report unusual disturbances in electrical equipment near the object, further deepening the mystery. Attempts to date the object have also provided conflicting results. Some samples taken from the site suggest an age of up to 140,000 years, which would rule out any human-made structure. 
Other theories point to its formation during the Ice Age, aligning it with natural geological processes. The Baltic Sea anomaly continues to be a subject of fascination and investigation. The mixture of tangible evidence, unclear origin and tantalizing theories keeps this underwater enigma firmly in the spotlight of both scientific and popular exploration. The lost city of Cuba is one of the most puzzling underwater mysteries of our time. In 2001, a team of Canadian and Cuban researchers discovered a series of strange stone formations off the coast of the Guanajaca Bibes Peninsula in Cuba. These formations lie at depths of around 2,000 feet, far deeper than any known ancient human-made structures. The mysterious underwater city comprises symmetrical and geometric formations that appear to be organized in a deliberate urban-like pattern. Some of the structures resemble pyramids, others look like circular buildings, and there are even what seem to be roads and tunnels. The formations cover an area of nearly two square miles, and some individual structures are as large as 400 meters wide. The discovery sparked widespread interest and intrigue. Could this be the remains of a once great city, now submerged and lost to time? Some even speculated that the site might be the remnants of the mythical city of Atlantis, or perhaps a sunken city from a previously unknown ancient civilization. Initial explorations by remotely operated vehicles revealed compelling details, such as the intricate designs carved into the rocks, further suggesting an artificial origin. However, the extreme depth of the site and the technical challenges associated with exploring it have made comprehensive investigation difficult. Skeptics argue that the formations might be natural and that the apparent symmetry and organization are merely coincidental. Some geological theories propose that the formations are the result of slow natural processes that have shaped the stones over millennia. They point to similar naturally occurring underwater formations around the world as evidence. Despite these counter-arguments, the evidence is not clear-cut. The site's sheer complexity and the enigmatic features captured in sonar images keep the possibility of a human-made origin alive. Some researchers believe that the site could have been above water more than 50,000 years ago, during the last ice age, making human habitation theoretically possible. And as always, I hope you enjoyed our video today. Thanks for watching.